Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to go over the easiest possible way to code any BMW and Mini. This works for all models that support OBD2, and I will put the link to the website where you can check if your car is compatible. This uh, application that I'm showing you how to use is going to be able to diagnose and code your car. Not only is it going to be able to do those two things, it's going to be able to reset your service light if you get a service light on your dash. It is going to be able to, if you have a newer car with iDrive, I do not have iDrive in my car, you are going to be, be able to code that and do diagnostics on that. And you are going to be able to get used car reports from the car before you even buy it. So if you have this car and you're thinking about buying a BMW, I would buy this tool because you are able to see if the car has been tampered with the mileage, not just if that dot's on, but other things that could have been tampered with the car and anything that has been ran on the car. So the the adapter or software, the adapter slash software that I'm going to show you guys how to use is called Carly BMW. So let me show you. This is the adapter. This adapter specifically is for the iPhone, but they do make adapters that work on Android too. So if you have an Android head unit like I do, you can actually have your diagnostics app, the Carly app, right on the head unit. However, I just, I wanted to get it for my iPhone. I didn't, i rather just have it on my phone. It's just easier for me personally. This is what the adapter looks like. It connects through Wi-Fi if you are using it with, um, an iOS device, or if you have an Android, it's going to connect through Bluetooth, and all it does is plug into your OBD2 port, and there's a app that connects with it. So, basically, this is all you get. You get this, and you get a quick start guide, but I'm going to show you guys how to actually do that. That's the quick start guide, and there's some things about it, and just saying, basically, how to connect, but I'm going to show you guys how to connect and do everything right now. So the first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into my OBD2 port. So let me show you guys that. So I know it might be hard for you guys to see, but yeah, you can see right up here is a flip door on the E46 and you want to locate your um, OBD2 port. On this case, on the BMW, it's under the car, but on some other BMWs, it's actually in the door. On some BMWs and minis, it is... Um, right there, it might be right here where you open up the door, but either way, locate your OBD2 port and plug in the adapter, and as you can see, it puts some lights on. So now that that's done, you're gonna put your car to position two, and we're going to go to settings, and then we're gonna go to Wi-Fi, and as you can see, the Carly adapter will already pop up. I'm already connected to it because I've been using it. But basically, you click on it, and it will connect. It will still continue to say LTE in the corner. It won't actually connect to a Wi-Fi network, but it's connected. And then we're going to go home. And then we're going to find the Carly app. What you're going to do is you're going to go here and pick your model. So I have a E46. And I have a gasoline. I have a 2002. And then right there it shows what I'm connected to, what my car is, and then I'm going to press connect. You press connect, and it's going to establish a connection. It says Carly is running. Bam, already connected. Super quick. Now let's start with just doing an overview of everything you can do. So it has diagnostics. It has a used car report. That's what I was saying that you can find out if the mileage has been tampered. You can code your car. This is pretty cool. This is called your digital garage, and it stores all your actual um, coding settings that you've coded before. So I can see everything that I've coded before, and I can revert back to original before I actually coded my car, Carly. And then we have your parameters, which you can do some cool things. You can find out... Um, live monitoring of gauges, stuff like that. I haven't really did anything with it yet, but um, it does seem pretty cool from what I can do. I can check my battery voltage, and there's all these other custom parameters that you can do. Um, the next thing is your iDrive. I don't have an iDrive in this car because it's just too old for, before iDrive was even around, So, but it does support iDrive. This is the service light where you can reset your service. You can even, if your car has electronic parking brake, you can... Um, adjust that. You can see your transmission. I have a manual car, so it can't really do too much because I don't have an automatic transmission, obviously. But if you do, it can check that. 
Now, this is a very important feature that a lot of newer BMWs, starting with the E90 and E60, I'm pretty sure, have to do. If you have an E46, you don't have to worry about this. But as any of you guys out there that have an E90 or an E60, you will know that you need to code the battery once you replace it, and this allows you to do it. So that is awesome. Here's some other thing for diesel. I don't really know too much what to do. Your exhaust flap, if your exhaust flap is controllable, you can find out if your car is going to pass inspection. They have just manuals for how to use it, some settings and other stuff. So let's get on to, let's start with the diagnostics of the car. So we're going to click diagnostics. Gives you a little thing. We're going to click continue. And here are all the modules. And I'm just going to have it do all the modules. It's, and I'm going to click. And it's going to run through its thing. It's going to see if it's found any. And sometimes you it, it it's not available to scan all of them, especially me because I have an older car. I don't have a newer BMW, but the newer BMWs can benefit from Carly a lot more. But it's still for the E46, there's still plenty of things that you can test out and try. So there you see it didn't. It says it's going to ask more than it actually gets an answer from. So only 14 answer because it probably doesn't have all 30. And it's saying it's finished, and 14, and I have one fault. So let's go check out what it is. We're going to press OK. And then we're going to click. We're going to scroll down to find out no faults. No, all right, right here. So my body. And I already know what this one is. My mirror acts really weird, my passenger side mirror. So this is the code. That's the actual BMW code. And you can find out it gives you more of an insight saying um, mirror motor. And there's some sort of error in it. I'm not, it, I know it just, it gets stuck sometimes. It's some sort of motor that's inside of it. I am getting new mirrors, so that will hopefully fix. But I can see the error. I can try to clear it if I want. I know I can't clear this one because I've already tried clearing it before and it doesn't fix it. But let's click back. You can click, um, it's selected, and you can click start clearing. And now the codes are clearing. And we're done with that. So now, let's go see how to code this car. And I'll go through some of the options you can actually code, and then I'll do some previews of what they actually look like. So let's go back. And this is what's really exciting about Carly. It's the easy way to code your car. It's one of the easiest ways I have ever found on how to code a BMW. There's no easier way. Plug and play. No installing and configuring. You install one app and you can do it all. So let's click on coding. We're going to click continue to coding and basically saying it's going to find um, all the possibilities that can be coded on your car because all cars have different possibilities, especially with the E46. There's a good amount, but not as much as some of the newer cars that are out there from BMW. So it's found three modules. I've seen some other cars with a lot more it can code, but Regardless, it's the car. It's not Carly. So, right here it just says, what does it say? Um, basically saying it made a backup of it. That's fine. So we're going to click OK. Actually, we're going to click Don't Show Again. We're going to click GM5. So this is General Module 5. This has some pretty cool coding options we'll go through. And right here, if I click Restore, it will restore to how, before I started Carly, what I had for options. But we don't want to do that. We want to read it. So we're going to click read, and it's going to checking communication quality. It's backing up a current um, version of the coding that I actually have, and then we're going to press OK. And here are all the options. So some of the options that I really like is I have my alarm coded. If you don't have your alarm coded, you can just make it look like it's coded, and that's by doing the optical uh, confirmation. If you click on these, it will tell you what they do. Um, alarm, you can play with all the alarm, do different things, like I have all my lights flash when I have my alarm go off, which is usually what you want. Um, none of these are really cool. Okay, this is what's really cool. Comfort opening and closing. So if your car opens up the windows, but doesn't close the windows with the key, you want to turn on comfort closing using remote. And then here are your options. Um, comfort opening will open the rear windows. And some of this is kind of self-explanatory. Comfort close will open the rear windows. You can do it so if you hold the your key fob, it doesn't do the rear view, the rear mirror, uh, the rear windows, or maybe the sunroof you don't want. So that's pretty cool. This is just about um, 
locking automatically locking the car at a certain speed I'm not a fan of this I actually have it turned off but you can turn it on and then pick your speed that you want the car to lock at which is pretty cool so you turn it on right there and you can do it independent of your different keys this is a bunch of stuff I don't really like I don't really care for windows opening with door that's kind of cool um, there's a bunch of them you can play with them and click on them but I just want to highlight some of the best ones that's really it for the GM5. The next one that's really cool is the lighting. That's some of the best ones, I think. So again, we're going to click read out. And it backed it up. So let's go check out some of the cool ones. So some of the cool ones, you can turn off your US style lights if you don't like them. Um, your daytime runners, you can pick your, if you want your daytime runners on or not, and what brightness you want, which I didn't even know you could do that. Um, fogs and high beam, which is really cool, so your fogs will be on with your high beam, as you know, it's not possible. This one's probably one of the coolest ones, it's called your, it's hazard light, and it's double impulse blink, so it goes quick, quick, slow when your, um, hazards go on, it's really cool. Um, follow me home lights just leaves your light on if you hold the high beam stock on it'll leave your lights on for 150 seconds I like that and I like having my low beams on my brake lights on my high beams on um, I didn't like my dashboard lights on my license plate my fog lights everything I want it to be super bright when I'm walking into my house at night now this is one of the coolest ones that I'm just experimenting and if it's done right I will insert a clip of it actually working on my car but this is force brake meaning when you brake hard your lights blink to let other people know behind you that you're braking hard it's really really cool outer light same thing these are all your voltage monitors for um, if the lights come up on the dashboard I have most of them off because I don't care to have them on just an annoyance sometimes you have LEDs and then that's really it the last one is just a code to unlock your car I'm not even going to show it it's if the key unlocks the car or um, if you unlock the car, do your seat move, or does it do it when you open the door? I have it for when it just opens the door. It's not really that great. But I just wanted to go over some of the coding options you can do with Carly. Now I'm going to do a live demonstration real quick of what one of the, a couple of them look like. And some of them look like, so if I turn my impulse blinkers on, you'll see. If you can see, it's not going blink, blink, blink. It's going... You can see that the pattern is different, and outside they look really, really cool. I really like them, and that's just one really cool thing that I was able to code with Carly, and it made it awesome. So the next thing that I'm going to show you real quick is actually what your lights, what the comfort clothes looks like, and if I can, I will show you what it looks like to have force break on. So I just wanted to demonstrate how your, uh, your key, your key fob right here, can roll down the windows and how I coded it. So as you know, most cars, you hold this, most BMWs, and the windows come down. Cool, great. But what you didn't know, a lot of BMWs cannot do this, is to roll the windows up, especially the E46s. So if I hold the lock button, you can see my windows are now going up, and that is what I coded with Carly to do. It's just a very interesting concept that you are able to do, and I just wanted to show that. So that's it for this video guys, huge shout out to Carly for sending me out the adapter and a license key to bring you guys this video to show you the easy, easiest possible way to code any BMW, period. There is no simpler way to code a BMW than using this software, Carly, for BMW. They make Carly for other cars now, but this, I just wanted to show you, this is the easiest possible way. And if any of you guys have any questions, please feel free to... Leave, it, leave in the comments below any questions about Carly. I absolutely love it. Um, I was thinking about buying one even before they sent me one. I've heard wonderful things. I know other YouTubers that I watch, bigger YouTubers, they use it. They love it. They use it for all their um, 
cars. I know someone that, um, Nor, who has a E90 with his 335 build, he's using it. He's using it so much to diagnose his car. And I just, I saw that. And I was like, wow, I really need to get this adapter. And they ended up contacting me to send it out. And so far, it's worked awesome. Um, every every single other person that I've, I know per people personally who use it, they swear by it. So I finally thought, all right, let me try this out. And it does live up to its name. It does live up to the price. It is the easiest possible way. You have no screw up, no fiddling around, no guessing. It just works. And that's what's awesome about it. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.